everyone, I'm Nikki Boyer and welcome to Morning Canvas. Here is your daily dose. San Francisco curator Ezra Croft has issued a challenge. He's looking for artwork devoted to actor Bill Murray. It's for a one night only event that takes place August 8th called The Murray Affair. Croft wants you to think outside the box when paying artistic tribute to this comic genius. He's already had a successful show dedicated to Nicolas Cage. Now it's time for Murray to be your muse. Submissions are being accepted until July 21st. Currently showing at the Royal Albert Hall in London is an exhibit devoted to the English rock band Oasis. Definitely Maybe, the Oasis photographs, pays tribute to Noel and Liam Gallagher and the group's debut album that turns 20 this year. Back then, Michael Spencer Jones created the images that became the band's album and single covers. Tonight, Jones sits down for a special Q&A to talk about his time as their official photographer. Another fan fiction writer gets a book deal. The woman who wrote the Fifty Shades of Grey saga started out creating Twilight fanfic. Now, an author of One Direction Stories has received a three-book deal that's going to earn her somewhere in the mid-six figures. Apparently, her Harry Styles-inspired trilogy called After has been read over 800 million times. And publisher Simon & Schuster hopes to capitalize on that popularity. I currently live in L.A., but my hometown is St. Louis, Missouri, which is where the Muni Theater is located. Kicking off the Muni's 2014 season tonight is Billy Elliot the Musical. It features the music of Elton John and is a magical story about a family who struggles to help Billy achieve his dreams. The play runs through June 22nd. The summer lineup for the outdoor venue also includes Tarzan, The Gershwin's Porgy and Bess, Seussical, and Grease. The Tony Awards were recently announced. The biggest winners were A Gentleman's Guide to Love and Murder and All the Way. Each production earned four statues. Neil Patrick Harris from Hedwig and the Angry Inch picked up his very first Tony ever. And Audra McDonald won for playing Billie Holiday in Lady Day at Emerson's Bar and Grill. It was her record-breaking sixth win. She's now received Tonys in all four play and musical categories. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure to tune into the full morning canvas every weekday from 7 to 9 a.m. And I'll see you tomorrow.